think I found the perfect angle. I'm right about... No, if it doesn't move, we're golden. And we're live. Three, two, one. So, time, finally, for the first coat of this. It turned out pretty nice after I brushed off most of the uh, grinds, grounds. It's pretty dry now. It's been a full 24 hours. I hit it with a little bit, just one go over, 150. Sandpaper. Here it is. Uh, my bad. So yeah, I'm gonna glove up, get this stuff on. Got some new tools here. Applicator one. And then just applicator two. Maybe these are too small. back a little bit. These ones do much nicer. This one's for the polymer stain, so I'll use this one for... Yes. We can put all of these little tools away now so we have the right tool. I got my gloves on. If you want to know, DM me. It doesn't matter how just matters if it works but it, the right tools usually help set that aside I'm gonna do a quick once over here where do I want to start I think I want to get angled so you all can see the beautiful drip here. I'll uh, try and do a zoom for you once, maybe twice here. Yeah, stay tuned. Are we done? Can we cut? And we're back live in three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, that's just seeping right in. I forgot to put my apron on. I'll have to be careful. I want it nice and thick all over the top. And then once we seal it with the linseed oil, it's gonna look really nice. Maybe I should have singed it on camera, but we'll see how this turns. Now, let's get a good shot here. That'll do it right there. So much nice. I was not expecting this stain to go on like paint. Mm. It is a water based dye. There we go. For a first coat, this is really soaking in well. Maybe all my coffee work was for nothing, but I like to think it will stand out in the end goal here. I don't want to go over it whole body more than once. I need a lot of time for it to set. I'm going to cover every little part I can while it's wet. Well, there's a lot. Total, I'm not really conventional to do it this way, but I don't have a dipping pan or time. Try and get some on here. Doesn't need that much, just a little. Get it into the pores. Makes me think of penguins. I don't know why. 
They're always going with the grain of the earth and vice. Penguins are smarter than people realize. Yeah, nice light coat. Residual dripping, light coat. After all, this is finishing, and I want this to be well done proof. As in, I don't want the fog to ruin it. It's a nice wood. So I'll just give a little look in here and there. But we're eventually going to fill that with wood glue. No, I think we want adjustable next. We won't use wood glue. Now, finally, a little more there and there. Now, this is supposed to dry almost an emerald green when it soaks in. I wish I could time lapse it drying for you. It's very, very interesting. You'll see it soak into the fibers. Once that's done, we'll uh, flip it, put it on some foam, try and get the bubbles out with an air gun, whatever that is. Give it some grain. This is just a nylon brush, so it's fairly rough. Go with the body. Go with the grain. You want to keep that grain there as much as you can. Like our first coat is done. See? Food safe. So, we did all the things we needed to do in order to make this guitar ready for this. Well, almost all of the things. We still have a light sanding to do and Maybe a touch up here and there on the uh, back of the guitar as well. But after that we can seal it. After it's all nice and dry, we'll make a coat of the boiled polymer linseed oil. Or polymered linseed oil. It's the same thing as boiled linseed oil. And we'll go from there. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for uh, things that are, uh, well, exciting because we got a lot more crazy things coming along in this uh, fantastic, I don't know whether to call it a studio or a workshop or a channel or a podcast. It's just all of my endeavors right here. By the way, thanks for watching episode... Ooh, we're on episode three now, part three. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, tune in next time for more of this and more of that and oh don't forget some more of this as well there's so much space above my head and Mr. Skillington has all of the space in his non non-existent brain yeah thanks for watching if you like that sh consider sharing with a friend If you like that, consider sharing with a friend. <laughs>